Yes, my people, I am back again after almost nine hours. I left you pending, waiting. I know by now you are, you are scratching your head. You couldn't sleep last night and until now there's no news to you. There's no update. Well, in any case, keep your notification button on. If you have not yet subscribed, please subscribe to the channel. And on that notification button, send us your comments. We are trying our best to reply every comment. Every comment from those that are commenting from the UK, from Malaysia, from Nigeria, from Ghana, we are always there. We are replying most of the comments. Send your comment in. You can send your suggestions as well. Right now, Kasaido, we've been waiting and waiting and waiting for the news of here. Yeah. But right now as we speak, there are things still that are supposed to be done before the final announcement will be made. You are a fan, you are a Chelsea supporter. You love football, and that is why you are following. You are not just because, not just because you are a football, uh, Chelsea supporter, but because you are a football fan. And that is why I'm here, to give you minute-by-minute minute updates. We don't want to leave our, our, our subscribers, people like you, waiting for too long before updating you on the happenings around. That is why I'm coming right now, to let you understand what is keeping the announcements waiting right now as we speak there is a legal issue between the uh, the the club that's brighton right now and the previous club of casaido that they are trying to resolve it's a legal issue that they are trying to work out and as soon as that is done the announcement will be made chelsea has already officially this morning presented their bid of 115 million pounds to brighton they have officially presented the bid of 115 million pounds to Brighton. And so there's no issue there yet. There's no counter bid from any club again yet. No counter bid from Liverpool. The Chelsea have uh, they've made the bid this morning. Last night it was just a verbal agreement, verbal offer. This morning the paperwork was submitted. And so Brighton, they are going through the paperwork and they are trying to work out the legal issues. As soon as that is done, there will be an announcement. So just stay close to your phone. As soon as the announcement is made, here we go. You'll be the first to be notified. You will be the first to be notified. And right now as we speak, a lot of big, big people, big stars, previous footballers, pundits around the globe, they are surprised about the happenings. They are surprised. One, let me give you one or two, their quotes. Uh, Jamie Carragher from Sky Sports. He said, it is a big blow for Liverpool. For Liverpool. It's a big blow for Liverpool. The fact that Casado rejected Liverpool, it's a surprise thing for many, many. He said, it is a big blow for Liverpool. And he didn't just end there. He says that it is astonishing. This is astonishing for me. It is astonishing for him. You know, Jamie Carragher was a captain of Liverpool some time back. He was their captain before. He played in Liverpool. He's a legend of live in Liverpool. He said, it is astonishing for him that a player like Casado rejected Liverpool. For him, Liverpool is a traditional club, even though, with all respect to Chelsea, Chelsea won many trophies in recent years. But for him, when he compared the two clubs, Liverpool has a tradition, has a history. And so for, it is astonishing to him that Casado rejected Liverpool. That is, for you to know how painful it is, how people, how people are crying over the decision of this young chap, the 21-year-old Ecuadorian. You know, it's, it's astonishing for this guy to reject Liverpool, even though Liverpool submitted a late bid. Late bid. Now, even Harry Reknam, the, the, the coach, the coach that was once an English England coach, you know, we all we know Harry Regnab. He said, I am shocked Casado has turned Liverpool down. I am shocked Casado has turned Liverpool down. Why won't you be shocked? The guy is saying there's a blue in his veins. Why won't you be shocked, Harry Regnab? He said, I am shocked Casado has turned down Liverpool. He would have been a perfect match. He would have been a perfect match. So it wouldn't be a perfect match for Chelsea. I mean, 
<laughs> you have been a perfect man. This is from Ari Rednam. And he went on. He said, you could have, he, 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 he would have matched with McAllister in that midfield. Would have been a perfect match in that midfield. You know, they tried to match them together with the play that Liverpool already have. And they felt strongly that Casado would have done a great job in the, that midfield. And the truth of the matter is that Liverpool need Casado even more than Chelsea needed it. Liverpool need Casado in that midfield. The missing piece right now in that mid of, uh, Liverpool, Liverpool team is that midfield. They need a defensive midfielder. And that is why when they started working on uh, uh, Romeo Lavia, I would have expected that they would, have, they would continue to work on that. Romeo is still a young, he's also a young guy. He's very young, 19, but he's full of strength. He plays very well. And so they, they should have just go ahead and win Romeo Lavia first. Then looking for maybe someone, if they still need someone that is more stronger physically. But they just jump from Romeo after failing to beat or meet the, 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 the asking price from Southampton. Southampton was only asking for 50 million pounds and they beat 43 million. Right now, as, we, as it stands, the, Romeo Lavia is about to be announced Chelsea player. In the next hours, Romeo Lavia could be announced as a Chelsea player because we already offered them 53 million pounds plus 3 million add -on in add-ons. So, Romeo Lavia, in the next hours, he could be announced together with Casado. He could be announced together with Casado in the next few hours. Hopefully. Yes, hopefully, because the offer, the bid has been submitted by Chelsea to Southampton for Romeo Lavia. We need Romeo and we need Casado. We need a two all. So, don't sleep yet. Very soon, you hear the announcement. Chelsea's aim is to present these two players tomorrow at the bridge, Stamford Bridge, before the match between Chelsea and Liverpool. We want to present the two players to the crowd, to the fans. That is the aim, and that is what Chelsea is working on. Quickly, before we run up, I want to go to Harry Kane. Yes, <clears throat> Harry Kane. Harry Kane is finally a Bayern player. Finally, the, the man... The 30-year-old English striker is finally going to win the first trophy. Hopefully, hopefully tonight, he has a match to play. Bayern, as we understood, are working around the clock to get the player ready, registered, so he can partake in tonight's game. They have a match, a cup, German cup to play tonight. And so they are preparing him and they are working around the clock to get him registered as soon as possible to see if he can partake in tonight's game. And so it's possible Harry Kane could win the first cap, his first cap on his first day of, you know, being a, a, a Bayern player. The day he was officially announced and, and, and the same day, he could lift the first cap that same day. How interesting. Sometimes we just we need, need to wait on God's own time. On God's own time. Right now as we speak, Harry Kane is officially Bayern player. I'll leave you here and there are videos that will be attaching to this. Harry Kane's message to Tottenham fans. In fact, Dan Levy made a statement. Dan Levy made a statement. He made it very clear that he didn't want to let go Harry Kane. He said he did everything possible. He did including a short-term contract that could have kept Harry Kane there for the next year. And maybe after next year, they can, you know, he said he did everything possible, but the player wanted to go. Otherwise, he would have run down his contract. And he, got, he has no choice than to let him go. So, Tottenham fans, you cannot blame him that much. The player also needed a silverware. The player also wants to experience something somewhere. And so, Daniel Levy's hand was tight. Yeah. So, he had to do what? Let go. He's been unveiled. The video will be, will be there. You watch the video. Then the Levy statement attests to the fact that he and the club didn't want to let him go, but the player himself wants to go. The player wanted to go. That is it. Next, before you go, our goalkeeper Kepa. Yes, goalkeeper Kepa. Goalkeeper Kepa. Our goalkeeper Kepa. There, there, is, there, there has been two offers from Bayern and Real Madrid. As a matter of fact, Real Madrid just came in recently. It was Bayern that showed earlier interest in the, in the keeper. 
And it was believed that they wanted a loan. But Chelsea want an outright sale. Because the player has only two years remaining on his contract. If we should allow him to go on loan, what will happen is that by the time he's coming back, he'll be left with only one year. And if a player is left with one year on his contract, it is difficult to sell him out. The player might prefer to, you know, to run down his contract and we might end up losing him for free. And so Chelsea is not willing to let him go on contract, or on loan, sorry. Chelsea is not willing to let him go on loan. We want an outright sale. If he wants to go, then he must go on, you know, on our terms. That is what we want to do. Now, Real Madrid are also coming in. After Courtois injury, they need an immediate replacement. And they have also submitted their official bid. But they are also coming in with, with a loan, with an option to buy. They also are coming with a loan, with an option to buy. So now Chelsea and the two clubs are in serious stocks as we speak. Chelsea and the two clubs are in serious talk as we speak. They will have to sit down and sort out issues. The player's preference is Real Madrid. As we get to know, the player's preference is Real Madrid. But it is the offer that will best suit both clubs, both club and the player. That is what we, they are working on right now. I will come your way pretty soon. I'm hoping that the news we have been expecting will be coming pretty soon. Stay glued. Shalom. Peace.